If you're looking for some ways to pass the time at home, and I'm sure you are, it might be worth thinking back to what we did before the days of Netflix and Wi-Fi. What did we do, Betsy? The olden days <laughs> is what is being referred to here, and it's board games. They've entertained generations of families, so our Mike Polk decided to revisit some classics and see if they still hold up. Hey guys, it's Mike. I know that a lot of people are kind of hunkered down at home right now. Maybe you're running out of things to do. Uh, so I thought maybe I'd uh, give you some tips, look back at some of the classic board games from when I was a kid that I had so much fun playing back in the day, and see which ones you guys might have fun playing with your family. Candyland. What you're trying to do, obviously, is to get all the way to here, to King Candy's Castle. And then along the way, as a kid, what you do is you get to go through Nana's Nut House, Peppermint Forest, and all of these candies that you don't get to eat. Sorry, this one's a real fight starter. Your sister's here, and you get to slide. And you're like, sorry. And then your sister's like, Mom, Michael sorry me again. And she's like, shut up. And that's that game, Operation. Now this one is frustrating. You're gonna be okay, sir. You're in good hands. Clue. There's never Never too early to start teaching children how to solve murders. I've always said that. The game of life. Hey kids, you tired of being a kid and having fun and no responsibilities? Want to play a game where you get to pretend to be a grown up, get a job, get a lease on a car? Here we go, let's see how many babies I get. It's got twins. Mazel tov. <laughs> Responsibility. Having fun yet, kids? All right, so those are some quick reviews of some of the cherished games from my childhood that you might want to try out if you find yourself hunkered down with your family or probably just go on the internet. It's way better. <laughs> All right, Mike, so you are at your desk now. What is your favorite board game? Uh, that I did not feature it there. It's actually a game called Mouse Trap that my hey. neighbor friend Mickey Nemet had. Um, my family would not buy it for me. I think it was expensive or something, but it had a million different pieces to it. And you could try and like catch a mouse if you, if you played it right. But I it remember it. Right, do you remember it? Yeah, yeah, very well. That was my favorite. How about you guys? Jay? Trouble, do you remember Trouble? Yeah. You had the little pop and dice oh, thing? Oh yeah. Remember Trouble that? Yeah. I didn't really love the game so much, but I loved that little Mm -hmm. sound that it's it made fun. when you totally pop the, forgot the globe. About that. I love yeah. that game. What's your favorite, Bets? Um, I liked Hungry Hunger Hippos and Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Oh, wow. Rock'em Sock'em was very great. aggressive. <laughs> yeah, but, aggressive Yeah, totally. Games. But I also like Sorry in the Game of Life, so that you've, oh. you've put a spin on Battleship was fun. That. that is true. Battleship was you always so good fun. Battleship. Mike, thank you so much. I